On this video, we're going to look at the System 2 Relay Driver Board. This is a board that can drive up to eight low voltage relays, which are connected through here. And it's suitable for either using as a frog polarity switch, or you might want to use it as an independent relay for some other purpose. So let's dive in and see how they work. First of all, here we have the combined power connector, which is uh, 12 volts, any polarity, but it must be regulated DC. And this board wants about half an amp. Then we have the CAN bus, the H and the L connector. And these connect to the CAN bus in the usual manner. If there's a serial number on it, then that would be displayed here. This one I haven't printed the label for yet, hence it's black. And all important relay connectors here. So there are connectors for the eight relays and it uses the low voltage type of relay that we have on our, uh, on our web shop. This is the only button on the board and it's used for starting the Wi-Fi hotspot should you need to. And finally, we have the Wi-Fi antenna here, which you should keep clear of all obstacles. In what we perceive is a typical configuration, I've connected the relay driver to uh, eight relays and they're plugged in through this lead. And driving the system is a panel controller. And at the other end is a servo driver with eight servos connected. So if I just begin with an out of the box demonstration, press a button, the servo moves and the frog or relay switches to change the frog polarity. And away they go. So if we look at the admin interface for the relay driver, you can see that uh, we've got the name of the device and serial number here. It's also shown down here in smaller text. I haven't entered a location field for it yet because it's uh, brand new. Uh, the serial number is on the relay and it's shown here. It's upside down, but it's relay 8-8FF900. And it matches here, so I'm definitely connected to the right board. In fact, if I do a locate board, you can see the light flashing fast. So on the admin page for the relay driver, have you noticed that the status underneath it's telling us there's a firmware update available and it was released on the 18th of January. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an update. Don't worry, I won't make you uh, watch it all. I'll speed it up. But if we go update firmware, and we can see that on the 8th of January, it was the initial production release of the Relay 8 driver. So I'm just gonna click here and then wait. And I'll come back in about eight minutes time and we'll see how it's gone. And as you can see, the board is now rebooting and returning to its normal state. So if I click on the main page link, we should now see it's gone onto version two and it's telling us firmware up to date based on the 8th of January's release. So the primary source or, uh, of reference would be to select the documentation link and that will take you to the relay driver page on the website. From there, you can access the user reference and everything we're going to cover is also covered in this document. In particular, I'm going to cover the, uh, the vPort configuration, uh, how we can organize the relays, and also how we can uh, fine tune some of the adjustments such as uh, pulsing the relay as well. So the out of the box configuration will have the relay driver set on easy config to board 1A. And this will match the first servo controller on your system as well and will be pre-configured for the first eight inputs. So the way this works is the driver board issues commands to the relay driver and the relay driver in turn through its um, feedback channel will issue commands to the relays which are configured uh, for frog switching. And you can see 
When the servo gets to its midpoint, the relay fires. We can adjust that if we wish. The default for frog switching is to have the relay fire at the midpoint. The V port you can override at any point. So if I wanted, for example, um, three relays to come on on the same V port. So relay uh, channel one, servo one is on uh, v feedback V port three, two, one. So if I duplicate that here, whoops, keep the camera still, three, two, one, and I'll do this one as well, three, two, one. Then with a couple of keystrokes, can you see I now have three relays switching on and off. And if you want to get creative, we could reverse one of them as well. So I've just did a reload values and now everything's gone back to how it was before we uh, changed it. Because we didn't update the uh, or save the changes, it's all held in RAM, it's not saved onto the permanent memory. Now, the relay driver is also capable of issuing its own feedback through a, uh, a dedicated V port. And you might use this where you're using the relay as a separate device on the network, not related to a motor that's driving a frog polarity. So let's have a look at this. So if I go over to the admin page for the panel controller, I can see that physical port or button number eight is connected to V port number eight. I'm gonna change that. Let's make it, I don't know, uh, 108. So now I've set this panel, when I press this button to do something, but there's nothing being received at this point, so it would just sit there, uh, on channel 108. I'm going to take a relay and I'm going to make this relay operate on 108. And can you see when I press the button, the relay fires instantly and turns off instantly. There's no, um, there's no servo involved at this point. Nothing is moving here. And it's simply reacting as though I've attached a relay to a switch via the network. Of course I can reverse as normal. I can also do some other interesting things as well. Say I wanted to just send a pulse. Well, if I select um, 1000 milliseconds now, when I press the button, it goes off after a second. So if you have, um, for example, uh, Daypole points where you need to push two wires together for a short period, you can set this. The lowest value is 50 milliseconds and you get a very quick click, which would drive them. 60 seconds pulse, but I think that would be too long to wait. I'll change it back to five seconds. Dunk. And again, if I've made a mess, not sure, I'll just hit the easy config, select board 1A, and it now puts the, the default ports back. It hasn't adjusted the pulse, only the ports, because easy config just touches the command ports and the feedback ports. If I want to set this back or turn it off, put a zero. And on the panel controller, I might like to put this back to uh, number eight as well. And now when I press a button on number eight, I should get a relay as a frog and a servo. There's the servo and there's a the relay as, uh, and the, as a frog. So that's the, the relay driver. It's quite straightforward. It's uh, usable as an independent relay, as a relay that you can pulse, or as a frog switch. Of course, as a frog switch, it would be great for analog layouts where you might be using a servo, uh, but don't have a built-in frog switch. For other resources, don't forget you have the dedicated system two page at megapointscontrollers.com slash system two. You have this video, other videos in the range, and also the user reference document, which is linked at the uh, documentation section here or via the system two webpage. Thanks for watching.